Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking more in depth on the different types of alternative hypotheses. Remember from the last video that we have three options. So we can have a right tail test, a left tail test, or an, a not equal to, which is called a two tail test. So in this scenario, we want to see if sunup diet is effective. And so we are measuring differences by taking before weight and subtracting after weight. Now, if a diet is effective, that would mean that you would expect a positive difference, meaning that if you show weight loss, you would expect the before weight to be greater than the after weight, which means that the difference between the two would be positive given the direction of subtraction. Now remember, direction of subtraction is extremely important in these scenarios because it affects the sign or the, the direction of the sign. So here, because we would want to see it's positive, it's mu sub d is greater than zero. And that means this is going to be highlighting on that side of the test statistic. So it's pointing to the right. So we're highlighting to the right. And again, we call this a right tail test. So that is very specifically because in this scenario, we would want to see if the diet was effective, which means based on the, the subtraction direction, it would be positive. So here, we want to see if there is a difference in the difficulty between exam one and exam two. So I can see that maybe exam one would be harder because it's the first one and you don't know what to expect, but I also can see that exam two would be harder because the material becomes harder. So basically, I just want to see if there's a difference between them. So when you're saying, is there a difference, that means that you're not specifying a direction, which means that you just want to see if there's some nominal or excuse me, numeric difference. So we want to see if it's not equal to zero. So that means it could be that exam one is greater or it could be that exam one is less or in other words, exam two is less or exam two is greater. So that means you would do both sides of the curve, which remember means we call this a two tail test. So for differences, you just wanna see if some number other than zero. So you will only get one test statistic, but because you hypothesize before you um, sample, that means that that would show up on both sides of the curve because you were giving yourself both options before you um, sampled or collected data. Now here we wanna see if there's a drought. And so we're taking the rainfall for 2022 and subtracting it by 2021, if there's a drought, you would expect that there's more rainfall in 2021, meaning that it would have a negative difference. So this time we wanna see if mu sub d is less than zero. So the area that we're interested in then is going to be to the left of our test statistic. And remember I said in previous videos that if you have a left tail test, it tends to be you have a negative test statistic, but the main point is with these, it would be to the left. So hopefully that helps you to understand how you would write out your null and alternative hypotheses. I will explain this more because we will do three full examples using the FRED method for paired data. See you in future videos.